Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how we can install Kali Linux on a Windows 10 or a Windows 11 machine. Now, if you're looking to play with Kali Linux or if you're looking to practice with the, the tools in Kali Linux, you have the option to install it in a way that's not permanent. So you can install it as a virtual machine on top of your Windows device. So that way you, you have access to your Windows device and at the same time you'll be able to use Kali Linux on Windows. Now we'll be using a hypervisor which is a free tool called a VirtualBox and then we'll install Kali Linux on top of it. Now we'll begin by downloading the VirtualBox hypervisor. So let me open a browser. Now let's search for virtual your box download and then we'll go to the link that takes us to virtualbox.org so we'll click on this link and here once you get to this page you'll see that we have for different platforms for windows mac os and linux so since we're installing this on a windows machine we'll go with this option windows host and it should begin downloading for you now let me see and the download is done now I already downloaded it before, so I'm just gonna delete the second one. The next thing we'll need to do is to actually download Kali Linux that we'll be installing on the VirtualBox software. So we'll say get Kali. And uh, we'll go to the link that takes us to Kali.org. So we'll click on this link. Once you get to this page, you'll see that there's uh, different kinds of images. You have the installer images. This is for standalone devices. But if you're using, um, if you're gonna install it as a virtual machine, like on VMware or VirtualBox, this is a pre-built virtual machine that's pre-configured for us. So this is the one, since we're using VirtualBox, this is the one we'll go with. So we'll click on this option. Now this is the pre-built virtual machines. So it says here, yeah, these images have the default credentials, Kali Kali. So they are pre-configured with the username Kali and password Kali. Now, if you wanted to read more documentation on these virtual machines, you can click on this link. For now, let's just pick uh, the one we want. Again, we are using VirtualBox. If you are using VMware, you can use this. Or if you're using Hyper-V or any other hypervisor, you can select the one that um, meets your requirement. We'll go with the VirtualBox option, so click on this. And the file size is 2.9 GB, so it could take a while to download depending on your internet speed. So it's downloading and it's, it's gonna take, right now it says about 12 minutes. Now this is gonna be a, a zip file, so it's gonna be a compressed file. We'll need to unzip it. And in order for us to unzip it, we'll need a, another free tool called 7-zip, so we'll need to have that downloaded and installed as well. So while this one is downloading, let's go and uh, let's go ahead and uh, find a 7-zip. So you can say 7-zip download. Now I'll be providing the links to all these downloads in my video description. Now for 7-zip, you just click on the link that takes you to 7-zip.org. Once you get to this page, select whichever one that matches your system and then just click on this and it should start the download. Okay, and it's done. Now, uh, I had already downloaded the 7-zip as well, so I'm just gonna delete the second one here. So this is the Kali Linux, it's still downloading. It's gonna take a while since it's a big file. I uh, will pause the video. Now uh, at this point, uh, we see that the uh, download is done. So I'll go ahead and minimize the browser. The file is here right now. The next step is to, so the next step will be to unzip this file. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, unzip it. We'll un so we'll unzip this file using 7-zip. Let's go ahead and install 7-zip. We'll say yes, and then install. Click close. Right click on the uh, Kali Linux file, and then 7-zip. We'll say extract files, and then here you can specify where you want the um, the folder where you want it to be extracted to. I'm just gonna leave it here. So I'm just gonna go with the defaults here and click OK. 
and it's extracting the file and it's it looks like we have two files in that zip or that compressed file while it's extracting this file let's go ahead and uh, install virtualbox so we'll double click on virtualbox the hypervisor and we'll click yes to allow the, the app and it's, it says that it's preparing to install so this is the setup wizard we'll click next and i'll go with the defaults i'll click next and uh, it's saying that the the network connection will be reset temporarily i'm just gonna click yes i'll say yes and i'll say install and we already have an icon on our desktop for oracle vm virtualbox so i'll click it's gonna start uh, VirtualBox, so I'll click finish. And this is the uh, VirtualBox. And the next thing we need to do is look at the files that we just extracted for Kali Linux. Now, this is the folder that was created. And there's another folder. This is a, these are the two files that were extracted from the one that we downloaded. Now, in order for us to install it, since this is already pre-configured for us, all we have to do is click on this file right here that says VirtualBox Machine Definition. So if you double click on this one, it should open in VirtualBox Manager. There it is right there. And right now it's powered off. What we need to do is we can look at the settings and just verify that everything looks right as far as the uh, memory you can increase or decrease it and processor right now it's we have two selected we'll leave that as that the display i'm just gonna leave the defaults here storage we have the kali linux it's a the vdi is attached so you want to make sure that this one is attached otherwise it won't boot up and then network will leave the default depending on your network setup you could change this one to bridge but i'm gonna go with the default which is not so i'm not changing anything here i'll click ok and uh, i'm just gonna power on the machine i'll click start and you can click on this right here at the bottom to open this window and kali linux is booting up and we have the login screen. The username is going to be Kali. And Kali again for password. And click login. And there you go. We are logged into the Kali Linux machine. Now, this is the new look. So, this is uh, Kali Linux at version uh, 2024. This is Kali Linux 2024. And this is the new look with a new wallpaper. Now, if you wanted to verify the version you're running and also the to check if you have internet access, you can go to open the terminal. To check the version, you can type grep version tc os release. Uh, let's type that one, it should be os. And this is the version is 2024. Now we can also check the IP address, just do IP address. Uh, we have a valid IP and uh, let's ping google.com. And we're able to ping google.com. So that's all for this uh, video. That's how you can install Kali Linux on a Windows machine. And like I said, you're able to run Kali Linux. At the same time, you can have access to your Windows machine. Right here, I'm on my Windows machine while I'm still running Kali. I can do work on my Windows uh, machine here. And if you wanted to uninstall it, you can just right click on it and then remove. Then you can delete all files. And that should be removed from your machine for you. So that's all for this video. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.